Today, I'm gonna to be talking about how you waste emotional energy. This is the High Impact Dad Show, and I'm Joe Halton. Let's go. So, what we know about energy, and particularly emotional energy, is that we have a finite amount of emotional energy. You can't just keep spending out emotional energy because we all have a certain amount of emotional energy that we can expend and that we have a bandwidth for in our minds. And what happens is inevitably we end up wasting a lot of that emotional energy. So what I'm gonna to talk to you about today is how you can take steps to preserve some of that emotional energy so that you have bandwidth, and that is a word here, bandwidth, to spend on other things that are more productive, more useful, more conducive to growing and going forward um, in your life. Now, the thing that we find uh, in this life is that you're spending a lot of time wasting um, wasting time worrying about stuff that really isn't that important. It's either irrelevant or it's uh, trivial. So it could be something like uh, someone is kind of pulling you into like an argument or a dispute about uh, something which is not really that important. It's not really high up your list of priorities. Um, it could be something that's kind of quite irrelevant in that it's actually not relevant to what you're doing right now. And we all get kind of pulled into this from time to time and it's just part of human nature. Um, so the first thing is to realize that you shouldn't feel guilty for kind of getting pulled in. But the main thing is, is to kind of be aware of it. Now, when we talk about emotional energy, the first thing to understand is that some stuff is in your control in your life and some stuff is not in your control. And what you need to try to start doing is to stop wasting emotional energy on the stuff that isn't in your control. And there's a massive amount of stuff that isn't in your control, but we spend a disproportionate amount of time and energy and emotional energy worrying about it, thinking about it, playing with it in our minds, and it's just a waste of time and it's a waste of our energy. So number one is concentrate on the things that you can control. The second thing is information and news. Be really, really careful about what information and news you have going into your mind on a daily basis. The vast majority of news and information falls into the category of either being irrelevant or information that you cannot control. Okay, so if you're wasting a lot of time checking the news feed and worrying about news and worrying about stuff that's going on in the world that's not, um, that you have no control of, then that is taking up emotional energy. The second thing is, is people. Sometimes um, this is known as energy vampires, people that kind of suck the lifeblood of energy out of you. They're kind of negative, they kind of moan all the time. Um, they get you doing stuff which is um, a waste of your time. Um, so again, look at these people and not, I'm not saying to eradicate them, but maybe kind of limit your exposure to them and put in place boundaries around your time with them. This follows on really nicely to my fourth point, which is say no, get used to saying no to stuff. If people are, the, are dumping stuff on you all the time and um, they're uh, not only dumping uh, jobs on you for you to do, but also things for you to think about and things for you to worry about, which aren't, which aren't your uh, concern, then get used to get really used to saying no, okay? So those are my four tips that you can use to, to start to preserve your emotional energy and take steps to take back your emotional energy. And a lot of it also comes down to boundaries, the boundaries you put in place around peoples, around stimulus that's going into your brain, around the things that you've got inputting into you. And um, because if you can begin to say no on a regular basis, then it's gonna free up a lot more of your time and energy to do stuff that's more productive. Now, if you want to find out a bit more about this, the best way to do so is to check out my new ebook, which is the VAM Blueprint. You can get it over at guildofdads.com forward slash VAM. It stands for Vision, Action and Meaning, which are the three pillars of Guild of Dads. Um, and if you want to get some context as to how visionary men go about executing on their lives and visionary dads uh, go about living their lives, then the best way to do that is on the Guild of Dads podcast. I'll catch you guys later.